with a spread. Hand off right side. Hester got some room. Shoulder down. Looks like he's short of the first down by a yard. Defensively for Ole Miss. And at times they have really struggled. It's Tillman, Parade Jerry, Jenkins, Vicente Deloche. The linebackers, Ashley Palmer is probably the best of the bunch. Tony Fine in the middle and Phillips the other one. And the secondary moves on Sanford. True freshman Johnny Brown and Banks at the right corner. Third and one at the 11. Got it. See, now you're seeing how big that penalty call was because right there, Ole Miss is off the field and that penalty snap not been before the, the ball was snapped and really everybody on the field played that down as if it was real, but it was a break for LSU. So, uh, you know, now they're able to get off their own end zone and, and now run their regular offense and they go back to that four wide spread that we as anticipated uh, to start the game. Richard Murphy is one of the uh, five men out now. He's way out at the top of the screen. Yeah, there he is right there. Empty backfield. He's listed as the fifth team running back. And here's the pass inside to Demetrius Bird. That's good for a gain of 11. Well, when we called and talked to Gary Croton this week, I got, we all asked him, how do you decide who to put in? And he said he had some key words written on his game plan. When he thinks speed, he thinks five. Stretch the defense, he brings in Holiday. If he wants to make solid reads, Hester, go down the list. But I like where it ends up. Playmaker, number nine with early set. Nice to have options, huh? Yes, big to have options. Here's a little uh -oh, flip uh -oh. uh, to the right side. Two blockers there. This is Murphy. Oh, he had Saron Black and Herman Johnson out leading the way. That's a pickup of 21 yards. Caught Ole Miss in an all-out blitz, blitz that time, and he brought in Murphy when he wanted to stretch it. Remember, that was the word. Right brings in Murphy, good receiver, gets the ball out in space, and now a, a drive that the Ole Miss defense thought they had him bottled up now gets into scoring territory. And Crowton, uh, everybody, all the weapons are usable now. And now you bring in Keelan Williams, oh, yes, number five. Yes. On the speed. Right. Back. After the 21 yard gain, first down at the 45. Option, here's the pitch to Williams. He comes right, looks for blocking help. Doesn't get much. Early Doucette tried to help, but uh, let's go back to the studio for this Liberty Mutual update. Here's Tim Brando. All right, Vern, as you know, Tennessee controls its own destiny, but in-state rival Vanderbilt, it's a 19-yard strike. Mackenzie Adams to Jeff Jennings. 42 seconds later, the door is at a field goal. It's 17-9 at the break in Music City. Vern. Well, the SEC is uh, just a little... A little intriguing this year, especially the East, <laughs> that, not maybe, so much the West. Maybe not, maybe not to the Vol fans right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Second down and three. Hand off. Keelan Williams got a block from Doucette this time. Gets another block from Demetrius Bird, and he is out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Boy, you saw two wide receivers really opening up the lane for Keelan Williams. Yeah, after that offensive line opened up the initial hole up front, Herman Johnson, Saron Black. I mean, you watch these guys to the left side right here. Of course, Brett Helms has to get the middle linebacker pinned, and that's a tailback running in space, and it is uh, looking like that Ole Miss bugaboo of their linebackers is where this LSU defense offense wants to attack. Now you go with Charles Scott as the tailback. Trendon Holiday has the ball on the reverse, number eight. Hit behind the line, a little movement, and he is out of bounds as he tiptoes down the sidelines and is knocked out at the 19-yard line. We're going to take a look at that sequence down. Remember, and when they're coming out, the first play, there was a play run, no play now on second down. The play is stopped for a loss right here. So making it third and long. The left guard moves. Now Hester runs through a tackle, a missed tackle right there by Fine. And all of a sudden, Ole Miss could have got the ball back at the 50-yard line. LSU stays alive, and that's how you win championships, and that's how you're 0-6 in the SEC. Spread with five wides. Richard Murphy again is the top of the screen, number 26. 
Uh, bottom of the screen, beg your pardon. Here's the pass to the left side. It's caught by Early Doucette. Gary, we are seeing the full complement, aren't yep. we? Yep, we sure Scott, are. Holiday, Williams, Hester, Bird. And, and, the, and the team really relaxed and got comfortable when two things happened. They got, as, as Vern talked about earlier, they got Matt Flynn healthy, and he has distanced himself now as quarterback. He's the guy. Ryan Perilou is just a distant second, if that. And then early Doucette came out and made the tough catches, and what happened is the rest of the receivers started to relax. So Gary Croton, he is in his first year as the offensive coordinator. One-time head coach at uh, Louisiana Tech and Brigham Young. He was at Oregon last year. Here's Hester. Bangs down to the five-yard line. Tony Fine, number 47, the middle linebacker, makes the tackle. Well, that back tilted up to the left side. Shaw George, you can see this guy's in front of, of, of Hester, and then Hester is going to run behind him in an ISO draw play. Easy to tip off up here, but when you're down there as a defense, you've got other guys to worry about, and even if you give it away, it was a pretty well-blocked play. Second down. And uh, the ball spotted just inside the five. Yeah, and, and this is really like where they like to throw the ball to Hester down here or the tight ends, Dixon. They really do. Three tight ends. Zinger and Dixon are to the left side. Cole is tight right. Sean Jordan, the fullback. Here's the option. And the keep. Touchdown, Matt Flynn. 98 yards wow. for the number one team in the country on their opening drive. And, and as, as Vern told you earlier, the, the key is just how much different offense they have. You know, quick passes, screen passes, power plays, isos, a reverses to Holiday, and now an option out of the backfield. Remember, they used to bring in Holiday, excuse me, Ryan Perilou for that. Now with a healthy Matt Flynn, they show you the whole arsenal on the first drive. Colt David on for the extra point. <laughs> Perfect for this year. 49 of 49. Cole David had an extra point block in the game that went to overtime a year ago. Here's Matt Flynn. Keeps it. Cuts. Touchdown Tigers. Back in Oxford and now it's time for the playbook presented by the Hartford. Watch this offensive line how efficient they are right here. The two left guard and left tackle Saran Black, Herman Johnson reach out and block the two wide guys. The fullback picks up the fullback. The wide receivers out here, Bird blocking. Is that Doucette right there? And then Bird to the outside. That is not spectacular. It's not one of those highlight film plays, but it's so solid. I mean, everyone does their job. Fullback blocks, offensive line blocks, receiver runs the, uh, excuse me, running back runs the daylight, and both wide receivers get a block. That's efficiency. And it helps give LSU a 7-0 lead. 98-yard drive.